in this video we are going to see the tools and the functionality provided by the Microsoft that helps you to troubleshoot a simple mail transfer protocol that is the SMTP mail flow issues so there is no uh, rocket science to troubleshoot uh, any mail flow issues uh, simply there is a first place that you can uh, go and check that is a uh, mail trace that is when you go to the exchange online portal and uh, under the mail flow you will see the message trace so in this message message trace you can troubleshoot you can start troubleshooting first place to come here and uh, start message tracing a search like i can just go simply put the sender id and uh, just check the what are the message uh, that the user has sent so this is the message that i sent uh, few minutes before for the testing or show you something so this is the one message that i sent to the wrong address so you clearly see the recipient address rejected and uh, you will see the more information it got failed and the error message uh, that you can see here then this is the message id that you can see more about uh, this email and uh, this one hack that is you can see more information about this that is uh, view message in the explorer click on this and it will open another tab and it will show the real time uh, data of what was happened uh, and what was the um, details about the recipient senders everyone's domains uh, details in the deep so you can just take a screenshot or it will help you to troubleshoot uh, that issue in a much better way um, so once it's open i will show you what uh, how it is how you can read this or how it it is going to helpful um give me a minute yeah so this message and when you click on the test subject line and you will see that the same message that is it's got failed dismiss this uh failed who has sent this IP address this and then the SMTP DMARC all this uh, message authentication protocol are uh, proper URL was there any issue with the URL or was there any issue with the attachment this kind of things it will show you uh, in a very uh, uh, in a nice format okay so you can uh, do this and then you, there is a take action so in this action also you can uh, take action like how you want to treat this message um, so based on the your requirement or based on the use case you can take that action um, then a uh, second thing that you should go and check that is a microsoft remote connectivity analyzer uh, that the url i'll just open this url somewhere mm, let me open that url and this is the one message that I got rejected uh, that that previous from the previous test, and the AP wasn't found at the easyfirst.com. So this user is not available. So from this message body, also you can see uh, the lot of hints uh, you will get how to check this message or troubleshoot uh, this error. And then there is a header also that you can I I can give you the another uh, method that you can use for troubleshooting the headers like uh, how to use the headers and get the more information for that particular message. Um, then the inbound test, outbound test. This this test uh, test you can do that uh, to check uh, whether the inbound or outbound functionality is happening properly or not. So these these two methods are there that you can uh, use. Uh, then then uh, for example if you are uh, doing a freelancing uh, kind of a work and you don't know the uh, exchange environment properly on a first call and you want to troubleshoot so you can check the rules if there is any transport rules created and it is redirecting your message somewhere in the another folder or rejecting that message uh, so check the rules then check the remote uh, domain if it is you know uh, they have created a specific uh, domain or routing uh, for your uh, for a recipient for a recipient domain so that remote domain you can check if it is a star see if it is a, it is a star then then it is all good all the emails are going out properly um, and if this is the configuration then then uh, this all good okay so no problem 
with that then accepted domain where make sure your domain is added here by default it's add but just to make sure uh, that domain is added then check the connector if there is any specific connector created and if it is connect connector is created then just check a smart host or any uh, smart host or routing is added or that routing is uh, set up correctly so these are the things that uh, you can uh, check um, security in the routing also there is a security uh, restrictions uh, that that uh, you just check um, then message header basically the message header that you can analyze for example this is the message and i want to check the header of this message that you can go to the um for example let me open this is the ova and from the ova you can this is the ova then you can just go from here and view and see the view message details and this is all the headers that you receive uh, for this particular message so you can just copy everything copy all and uh, then go to the next tab and this is message analyzer is there microsoft message analyzer so you can use that functionality also to to see what happened with your message and go and analyze the header so here also it will show you how your message or uh, travel what are the authentication protocol what are the headers it has passed or not passed uh, there is something issue with the uh, spf or dkm dmark and uh, so it's a lot of information it provides based on the use cases and uh, then you can uh, make a decision on it so yeah so this is another way you can uh, troubleshoot and uh, yeah so this is the basic basic uh, checks uh, just check the spf smtp or the mx uh, sorry spf dkm dmark and uh, if a mx record is uh, configured properly redirecting just check if the smart host you are using for incoming or outgoing just check first the smart host is up and running properly uh, so so a lot of things are there it's uh, uh, all the time based on the the error message that uh, we are receiving and how far that email is traveling and based on that you can figure out uh, where is the problem exactly so these all the these all these methods that you can use to troubleshoot uh, smtp uh, address a uh, sorry smtp uh, mail flow and uh, that's all this is all in this video thank you